Dutch Sense here. 9.23 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday, November 19th, 2013. And today was just another crazy series of events, guys. If you don't know, my channel got shut down today, this morning at about 3 a.m. Between 1 and 3 a.m., my channel got shut down again for the same thing. They said that my channel was in severe violations of YouTube community guidelines. Now, this is an erroneous flagging. I got it sorted out, and now my channel is fully active again. They've done this to me multiple times, guys. I want you to stop, guys. Seriously, stop and think. How many other YouTube channels do you know of that have been shut down five times in two years and restored five times in two years? And why the hell do I keep getting flagged down and destroyed five times? Something's not right. Now, the last time I got shut down was a direct result of a false flag campaign on the behalf of suspicious observers when he said that I falsely said that I threatened his family and threatened to release his personal information. He then backtracked and said it was a channel called the Benjamin Davidson or something and said I run that channel. He made up all these excuses. But that guy, Suspicious Observers, today, they were leading the charge to have me arrested and butt-raped in jail. Yeah, there's a screenshot right there. He hid the comment. It's not deleted. It's just hidden. Still there. There it is. Not edited by me at all. Tattoot made a video on it earlier today. Tattoot made me aware of it. I couldn't believe it. Right? And these guys are buds. Back to back. He's like a moderator on his page almost. Literally, like, is like their bulldog. And uh, look at this, you know. He's repeating all the bullshit, saying I'm a DHS terrorist watch list, saying I'm anti-American, saying I'm a shill for foreign government. Really? <laughs> now, this guy, tied with this guy, tied with W77. But we won't go there tonight. Dabu, you got it coming, bro. You got it coming. You and your patriotic space, buddy who's behind the scenes, the person getting me shut off at Google, Lenore, North Carolina, Google Data Center. Really? Really? Seriously? Yeah. You wonder how they can get you shut down without having any strikes. I was in fully good standing. Here's a screenshot, and I can take you guys over to my page here one second. Got to take you through a sensitive page to the main page. Okay, there you go, and you can see it. You know, this is my YouTube page, here we go, and I can hit refresh. Okay, so um, there you go, and this is how it was yesterday. Now on YouTube, you get multiple community guideline strikes, copyright strikes, and several third-party strikes before your account's terminated. You get three copyright strikes. First strike, it's a warning. They send you, this turns red, shows you the strike. It's there for six months. Second, same with community guidelines. Six months if you get a strike or a violation. All my videos are non-controversial when it comes to... I mean, I understand that you know, the topics are controversial, but the I'm not cussing, I'm not showing nudity, I'm not showing violence, I'm not encouraging violence, I'm not doing anything except for telling you guys what I think is going on. And apparently that is like the biggest freaking deal in the world, telling you what I think. Apparently people don't like that because they're saying I should be arrested, thrown in jail, I'm anti-American. I love my country more than you do, bro. Way more. And I assume you're a bro. We assume we know who you are, and we're attempting to figure that out. We have our suspicions going over to Lenore, North Carolina, but that it might not be accurate. But we do know that there's a Lenore, North Carolina connection, and I'll put a link down below in this video so you can go watch Dabu77, who is friends with Suspicious Observers and Patriotic Space, talk about how he talks to Patriotic Space all the time. Now, Patriotic Space is one of the people we could think could be possibly part of a backside group involved with Google directly. Now, whether he works there or somebody he knows in Lenore works there, we don't know yet. Okay, so we're still trying to figure out the connection there. That person is being instrumental in the shutdown of my channel. And not just mine, other channels as well, but uh, for sure, they're being instrumental in that in approving these erroneous flaggings as soon as they happen. 
without any email being sent, nothing being sent to me. Guys, you know how it works on YouTube. Your account gets shut down, they send you an email telling you, and they give you a dispute process for any copyright strike or any community guideline strike. For me, last night I went to bed at midnight and according to all my viewers, shut down by 1 a.m. All right, no video flag this time. This time it was an impersonation flagging. Now, how the hell do you do that? How does that get approved instantly? There's only one way, and that would be somebody on the inside, right? At least in my opinion. You guys can come up with any better explanation for how a flagging can be approved on the inside in the middle of the night. It would be somebody on the night shift. Okay, that reduces it. Somebody on the night shift is approving those things. It's not just a computer. It's not a thousand flags coming over. Somebody came over and flagged me for an impersonation saying I'm impersonating Dutch Sense. They did it on Google+. Plus according to the person that got my account restored today. And I want to thank that person. I can't say who they are, but I want to thank them tremendously. <laughs> you know? So, much love, guys. And, you know, where to go with this other than to say, you've got to speak up. You've got to stand up against these people, especially the people that are leading the charge, the people that are saying this kind of stuff, the people that are allowing it and putting forth and the people that are saying it have to be confronted by more than just me. If it just becomes me, then people say, Oh, Dutch, why can't you just get along with people? Look at what they're saying, guys. Look what they're doing. They're talking about putting me in jail, and they're getting my channel flagged down completely. You know, you, you say you think it's a, a schoolyard fight, some of you people. You don't want to get involved. It's not a schoolyard fight. This is my last three years' worth of work on the line, guys. Not just mine. The information that it stands for. Just think of that. Remove me from the situation altogether. Think of all that information. All the links I provided over the last three years. Gone. Because these people don't like me? <laughs> because they disagree with me on microwaves? Whew. You know? we got a real problem here if those are the people that are going to determine the conversation. And unless you guys speak up and do something, say something, it's just going to result in my account getting terminated again. Not just mine, other people. But they've gone after me specifically because I wouldn't join their little group. When I met with Patriotic Space in Lenore, North Carolina, and saw the Google Data Headquarters and asked him about it, <laughs> you guys, I've tried to tell you this over and over again. You won't, you won't hear me. I showed you Suspicious Observers <laughs> founded a viral video marketing company in 2008. He founded the damn company. He says he doesn't work there now. Of course not. You're the owner, dude. You don't work there now. Of course not. So technically, he's telling you the truth. And that's who I'm up against here. And that's why they're winning. Or at least that's why they're able to totally knock my channel down and I have to be sent scrambling to try and fix it. That's how they're able to do it on the inside. There's somebody on the inside helping him. There has to be. You don't go from this to fully shut down unless, you know, unless somebody does that to you. There's no way around that one, guys. There you go. Much love.